Huh? Larry, it's Gina Grossbard. Stu had a stroke. Who? Stu Grossbard. From the club. What? I thought you'd want to know. Why the fuck she called me? <sighs> yeah, it's like it's three o'clock in the morning. I don't even know the guy <laughs> hardly. It's, it's ridiculous. So crazy. It's nuts. What am I doing on that list of middle of the night calls? I don't understand it. Better you than me. That's insane. The worst part? Yeah. Now I'm on a text chain with his wife and the family. Those chains, I've been on them. They're the worst thing ever. Wait a second. Ugh. I bet this is another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The chain? That's, it's <laughs> That's the chain. crazy. Hope you're feeling better today. My niece just drew this for Stu. Yeah. Look. Look. Look at the picture. You got to heart that. Just heart it. Oh, another one. Holy cow. It's, it's never going to stop. And I can't just drop out. They'll see I left. Listen to this. My family and I are here whenever anyone needs anything. Martha's beef stew is absolute perfection and really heals all wounds. It's really, honestly, like the lowest form of human communication. Hey, guess what? I got a date tonight. Wow. With an artist. Really? Yeah. She's painting me. It's part of a series of old Jewish comedians called Weisenheimers. I think Richard sat for that. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. he said she was cute. He asked her out, but he said it didn't go anywhere. Oh, uh, well. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he should have uh, some of us have it. Yeah. gone to Atlanta and given some water to someone in the voting Perhaps line. Perhaps he should have given some water. Dig this. Susie has got a textile convention in North Carolina, and she wants me to go with her. What? Yep. What's a textile convention? You're not going to that. That's uh, ridiculous. No, she already bought tickets. What? And dig this, because it's last minute, middle fucking seats. Oh, you can't go. How am I going to get out Guys, of Guys, can I do this here? Oh, so, so sorry. Ugh. Yeah. The whole day. You're not having the greatest game. No. All right, no I'm going to give you that. Pick it up. She's insane. No, you got to get out of that thing. What? What the hell? What the fuck's what? he doing? Are what you drinking? That? Just a little swing juice. Swing what? juice? Yeah. What's in it? I go iced tea and a little bit of just, just vodka. And you look like a derelict with that thing. You mean a gentleman. Who's looking up your address? That's bizarre. Hey, you know what? I think I got a way to get out of this trip for you. How? You have this dream, yeah. okay? And it's like a nightmare about the plane. And in the dream, you're thinking, oh, I'm in a, the middle seat. Can't breathe. It's too tight. No room. She'll wake up. And you'll tell her what the dream's about, and she'll be very concerned about you, and she'll say, hey, hey, OK, don't go. I like it. That's uh, good. That's is that good? Great. Yeah. It's a, it's a dream scheme. Let, 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 let's see you do it. All right. Uh, <laughs> 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 Middle seat. Can't breathe. Oh, they're squeezing me. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What? What? Wake up. You're having a bad dream. What? What? What's going on? I was having a panic attack. Uh, uh. You're not going on the trip. I'm going to go. You stay home. You like that? I love it. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>